For years, Paul Pozonski was a judge in this courthouse. That's his photo hanging on the wall up there outside the courtroom, the courtroom where today he was sentenced for taking drug evidence and using it himself. Pozonski will serve at least 30 days in Washington County Jail, up to a maximum of over 23 months, then two years probation. He called himself a broken man, embarrassed, humiliated. He told the judge, my poor decision making has devastated my life. He doesn't have a job, doesn't have a source of income, doesn't have a savings, is living with his parents and will probably be disbarred. Pozonski lost his state pension. His wife filed for divorce. The misery index has been great, and he has suffered mightily on this. He, he truly is a broken man. The prosecutor called Pozonski arrogant, saying he turned the courthouse into his stash house and made law enforcement into his private supplier of cocaine. In his deal, Pozonski admitted to misdemeanors of theft, obstructing administration of law, and misappropriating entrusted property. A couple whose daughter died in jail after a drug conviction came to court to see Pozonski sentenced. If it was a person off the street, they wouldn't be going to jail for 30 days for stealing off of the county itself. Evidence. I just don't think it was fair that he could do that and sentence people when he himself could have been high sitting on the bench. After he has served the minimum 30 days, the defense will file a motion asking that he be released on parole. Inside the Washington County Courthouse, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.